All right, let's get this how-to video started. This one's about how to draw using views. Um, and this is sort of doing it the old school way. Um, drawing the player score here. And then I've got view set up so that when I move player one around, you get this problem. Or a lot of beginners get this problem is, yeah, it draws, but then the points goes off the screen. How do you get it so when it moves away from the top that this score draws relative to wherever the view is. So it always draws right there. Now it should be noted that if you don't know how to use views in the first place, there is a short video we've made on view screen follows player or view screen follows two players you could check out that just show you how to set up the views. And it should also be noted that GameMaker Studio has a new method or event called draw GUI. It does what I'm gonna show you um, in an easier way, but it's still nice to know this background, right, of how to get this to work yourself with your separate views. Now, one thing you should sort of know first is let's just go look at how the views in this room have been set up. I have view zero, which is this box here, and it's set up to follow the player, and then I have view one, which is set up to follow player two. Now, basically the key here to our drawing is knowing where is the window because obviously this sort of window this view follows the player around the room as they move this x value and this y value relates to the top corner of your view so for instance if i set that to 50 you can see my box just went down if i set that to 50 that's now 50 50 is that top corner now obviously game maker is keeping track of that 50-50 and it's doing that in a variable called view x view. And you have to say which view. So if I'm working with view 0, it's x view 0 and y view 0. So this here right now would be equal to 50 and the y view would be equal to 50 as well. But as this window follows your player around, this variable is automatically updated for you okay to follow around so you always know where the view is and that's really the key to the drawing we just want to be able to draw but we have to shift our drawing so it follows with these two view variables so let's give it a go so I'm gonna put that back to zero zero looks good and it's pretty easy to do I have a draw object here and I've already sort of coded in the old code was just this draw at 25, 25, player one, and their points. And of course, that's always drawing at 25, 25 in the room. All I want to do is just shift this. So the variable was view, x view zero. That would be the top left corner of view zero. And then I add 25, which is shifted to the right of it. And then view, y view zero plus 25, that's going to be down 25 from the top of the view. Once you add that in there, these points one is just going to draw nicely, constantly, in the right spot. So you can see there it's always 25, 25, 25 down, 25 over from wherever that view is. So not too bad. Now, that's really the fix there. Um, this problem of it drawing underneath the squares, that's just a depth issue. I could change the depth of my draw object so it's above everything. But then you notice this problem with my second player. My second player can move, and yeah, this is bad, right? That looks weird. Player one's moving, and the thing is, is it's drawing in the room at that location, right? And so what happens is, is this view also gets the drawing. And we definitely don't want that. So what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to quickly copy-paste code. I'm going to get player 2 drawing out as well. View 1, view 150. Let's just change that to 25 and 25. And so just to show you, I've got both players being drawn here. Then we'll show you the fix so you don't get them both in the same spot, right? So you can see here, whoops, let's get it weird. And there's the weirdness, right? So let's fix this. When you're actually in the draw event, 
the draw event actually has knowledge of which view it's currently drawing in. So basically you have two views, both views receive the draw events and the drawing takes place. So one variable GameMaker has for us is this. I can actually ask currently which view is this draw event trying to draw in? And the variable is view current. So I can say if the view current is view zero, then try to draw the player one stuff because that's player one's view window. And then with this one, I can ask if view current is view window one, then try to draw the player two stuff. And there you go. I sort of messed that around. I don't like to, uh, there we go, neat and tidy. And do it like that. That way you're only trying to draw player one stuff inside of viewport one. So let's give this one a go. And you should see that problem is basically fixed. And so when I creep over here to player two, you see they're nice and independent now, right? You're never going to get player one drawing in player two's window and et cetera, et cetera. And just for those that uh, want that depth issue, let's take our draw object and just let's bring it forward. So let's just make it a, I don't know what I've put for depths here. Bring it closer to us, negative one. And now we shouldn't be going over the bricks anymore. And there you go, it's on top. Now that's one big thing, right? That helps you drawing in your views. The second big thing that can help you in your views is basically a little trick where if you don't like drawing on top of your room like this, then you should consider adding a little bit extra down here using a view and drawing all your stats and points in a little separate area so it doesn't interfere with the game graphics. And just to show you a little quick example of that, we can take our room here and let's go to views. Now my views are 400 by 400. Let's make a view two. And my view two is gonna have a width of 800. I'll just make it really skinny here. Let's just do like a height of 50. And where do I put this on the screen? Um, I'm gonna put it at zero. I want the width to match and the Y height. Well, I know my regular views go down to 400. So I'm just gonna make this go down to 410. And the height, make it match 50. Once again, if you haven't watched the video on views, uh, this stuff will be explained in that one. And let's just give this a quick run. Now what I've added is a third view. And you can see that third view is down here. This would be a nice place to draw stuff. And if you did want to draw stuff down there in that third view, all you have to do in your draw object, whatever it is you want there, draw in the stats view is I can say if view current equals, and that was view two, I can just draw whatever. So I'll just do 2020, whatever. And that's really it. And so that's another nice option there you can use. And it's a little low, but you get the idea. You can use this view to draw all the stuff you need to draw. Okay, I was a little bit off there with my values, but you get the idea. Now that's really enough basics with views to help you out. Now like we said in the beginning, what I just did with this stuff, with those uh, shifting the X view and the Y view values, really game makers added a nice new event called draw GUI. You should really check out that video and then you go, oh, I see what game maker is doing for us. It can take care of all that X view, Y view for a lot of your purposes. So worthwhile video to check out. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps you out. Hey guys, if you like this video, why not click the like button or even better, subscribe to this channel, share it with a couple friends. That's what keeps us going. Thanks.